Mike Mitchell with Apple Chevy. I just wanted to give you a short video uh, comparing the two, the Sonic and the Spark, for your request. Um, so uh, I'm going to start off with the Sonic here. All right, so starting off with the Sonic, uh, it's going to have a slightly bigger engine uh, than the um, Spark over there. It's still a four-cylinder. Uh, it's going to have a little bit more room in terms of cargo volume. As I said in the email, uh, the uh, Sonic here has about 47.7, if I'm not mistaken, uh, cubic feet of cargo volume. Um, it also has um, you know, well, it doesn't also, the, the Spark has about 31.2, I want to say, uh, in terms of cargo volume. This is a sedan, uh, as I mentioned before um, in the email as well, you can get the Sonic in a sedan as well as a hatchback, whereas the Spark is only a hatchback vehicle. If you notice in the back here, it has seats and seat belts for three, where the Spark has uh, only seats for four. It just has like a cup holder and a little space in there. Um, this Sonic right here, this is an LT model, uh, it has power locks, power windows, power mirrors, um, you have a touch screen in there uh, for the stereo and everything. I'll go ahead and get in here and show you some of the stuff. It has uh, all sorts of stuff like, you know, like I said, the touch screen. You also have a USB and auxiliary input right in the uh, upper glove compartment, I guess you could call it, uh, right there. It has the uh, power locks as well, right in the center there. You have a digital display for your um, speedometer and um, the compass and all that stuff, your uh, odometer, and then your tachometer uh, is right there next to it. Still a really nice vehicle, has a little bit more room obviously, uh, a little bit uh, more expensive, but uh, you definitely, um, definitely it's, it's still a nice vehicle and so is the Spark. Now I'll go ahead and show you the Spark a little bit, I've already pretty much uh, mentioned some of the main comparisons, but uh, I'll go ahead and mention some over there as well. Alright, so the Chevy Spark now. Um, like I said, it's a little bit smaller than the uh, than the Sonic. Only comes in a hatchback. Does not come in a uh, sedan. Just open this up here. Uh, both doors. It's pretty cool. The handles. It's almost like uh, right where your your arm level is. Um, but uh, yeah, going back here, you see uh, instead of having a, a third seat in the middle, you just have a cup holder and a space for the uh, two passengers in the back to put their uh, trinkets of delight, whatever they have. Um, but uh, going into here, you'll notice that uh, as well as the Sonic, uh, this one you can't have the power locks and power windows and everything. Um, the Spark and Sonic both do come po uh, possible to get both with, uh, you know, manual hand crank windows. This one has an auxiliary and USB input as well, but it's right in the center there as opposed to the upper glove compartment. You still have the touch screen, MyLink radio and everything that has all sorts of different uh, things you can do. The speedometer, again, um, you have a, uh, an auxiliary display as well as a digital um, display of the uh, tachometer, which is, uh, I guess, kind of the opposite of the other one. But you still have the controls on the steering wheel for everything. Um, pretty much all the same kind of deals with the uh, controls and everything for the most part in two be in the in both vehicles I should say I'm sorry um, but uh, yeah it's pretty much pretty much it, Lawrence, it's, uh, uh, some of the main differences between the Spark and the Sonic um, if you have any questions at all about either of these two vehicles any more questions I should say um, then uh, please feel free to give me a call my direct line is 708-342-4176 and uh, again Mike Mitchell with Apple Chevy we're located at 8585 West 159th Street in Tinley Park between Harlem and LaGrange. Look forward to seeing you soon and uh, have a great day. Learn.